What's up gamers? How's it going? Today, we're here in the training room to test out the good old Nargakuga Switch X. I was finally able to make it after a lot of hunts. Not, not too many, not compared to the Amudron, but I hunted it like 10 times before getting the Medula. But here we are, we finally have it. Created a set for it. Here's the skills. I've got 60% affinity. 236 attack. The rampage skill on the weapon is attack boost 3, so I get a more more attack. My talisman is stun resistance and poison attack. Poison attack is only 2, but I do have a slot in it to boost it up to 3. And then there's the attack. There's an additional attack boost, because why not? Uh, I... I want to say first, the poison attack is probably not needed, alright? Poison attack is probably not needed. I just put it in because it has a poison file and I'm like, hey, why not? It will probably be more worthwhile to put something on, maybe like weakness exploit or more crit eye or filling out the attack boost rather than getting a full poison attack because poison doesn't really do that much damage and depending on the monster it'll last for less time as well as be really hard to apply like i hunted direct the kanaki earlier and i was only able to get one poison off and that poison lasted for like five seconds it was pretty tragic but we we need to test damage so let's do that We'll do 50 hits this time, because that's just quicker, rather than our typical 100. But our combo is still the same as all the other times we've done this. We're just hitting one button, so it won't be too hard. Now, this damage is pretty good. It is. I did two hunts. Technically three because they're the Kadaki, but I hunted a Tobi Kadachi, which is a three star weak to poison, and I hunted a Magnamala, which is one star weak. Magna Kadaki, by the way, is no stars. So there you go. Tobi it, poison damage was the same all over. 14 damage each tick. I will have video evidence of each one. Uh, showing right about now it from memory it ticked about every 0.75 seconds or every second I'm not entirely sure you can look at it for yourself but 14 each tick and depending on uh, their resistance it lasted anywhere from like 30 seconds to like 45 seconds I want to say I wasn't keeping track I'll list timers on on the videos itself and also the total damage numbers. But poison damage itself, not very worth it. Now the damage from the switch axe itself is pretty good. I've gotta say. You'll notice in the videos that I was just moving around it observing the poison ticks. I wasn't even attacking it. And I still managed to complete the Tobikodachi and Magnamalo quests in 11 minutes and 11 and a half minutes respectively and that's pretty good time considering I stood around for like a minute minute and a half in total during those quests so clearly this this build has the damage behind it and I'm sure it could be more if I ditched poison attack and went for more affinity or attack boost such as weakness exploit adding more crit eye adding more attack boost getting a critical boost with the leggings of Rajang but I uh, I really like razor sharp because you'll see the Nurga Kuga switch X has a tiny bit of white just a tiny bit 
And to extend that use of that white sharpness, I decided, like, hey, razor sharp is going to be really good. I was going to put on protective polish, but A, I don't have a talisman for that, and B, the helmet that I was going to put on uh, was definitely not going to replace the Almudron helmet, which by it, on its own has two rapid morph and two two slots. It's just so good. <laughs> it's really good, guys. <sighs> but yeah. So, my assessment of the Nargakugu Switch X is good. I would not say... I would say it's the best steady Switch X. Because it doesn't have an element attached to it, because it has a poison file, it it is steady. It won't do reduced damage because of the elements. However, the poison will sometimes not be applied as much but your raw switch x swings will still be doing good damage so if you're looking for a, a weapon that you can use against all monsters that won't be detrimental like using a lightning switch x against an ogre you can consider building the nargakuga switch x it'll be good but if you're going for maximum damage, this might still be good. You can test that on your own. I sure ain't going to be. Well, I might. I might. We'll find out. But for for stuff like speed running or just for like getting the, the uh, best times that you can, I would more than likely recommend you get a pure build dedicated for that monster. But obviously, some people don't want to do that. Some people just want to have a steady set for all the monsters, and they'll be like, alright, I'm good with this. And that's what this would be for. I have multiple sets for multiple monsters. It's ruining my life, because I have to farm for each one, and it's... It's a mess, dude. It's a mess. But, that is it. That's my assessment for the Naga Cuckoo Switch X. I know a lot of people have been asking in two of my other videos, and here's your answer. It's good, but not the best for speedrunning. It's the best for steady progression. Progression, quote unquote, I know that's not the right word, but I'm sure you understand what I mean. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, and if you got any ideas from this consider liking the video and if you want to see more content like this consider subscribing i post videos uh semi-frequently but i do go live every tuesday and thursday and i draw some art also i'll be taking commissions soon more on that on saturday but that's it peace out gamers